In this video, I'm going to look at how you calculate the number of particles in a substance. So I'm going to start by using this pencil case example. So imagine you've got this one pencil case. What have we got? Well, we've got five pens in there. We've got three red pens. And we've got two blue pens. Right, what if we had a mole of pencil cases? Well, we'd have five moles of pens, we'd have three moles of red pens, and two moles of blue pens. So what we're going to do now is work out how many actual pens we've got. So before I go any further, just a reminder, what do we mean by a mole of something? We mean 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Remember that's Avogadro's number, and his picture was on the um, first slide. So five moles of pens would just be five times Avogadro's number. So we'd have that many pens. We've got three moles of red pens, so that's three times Avogadro's number, which is that number. Two moles of blue pens is two times Avogadro's number. So the formula that links all these together to calculate the number of particles, the particles were pens in that example, the number of particles is equal to the number of moles multiplied by Avogadro's number. Now, of course, they're not going to ask you about pens and pencil cases in a chemistry exam. They're going to ask you about the number of atoms, the number of molecules, maybe the number of electrons or protons. So here's some questions for you to try. So if you want to just have a go at those, pause the video, and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so make a start. So the first one, we've got to calculate the number of carbon atoms in 2.4 grams of carbon. Well, carbon is just carbon atoms, so I'm going to represent them like that. How many moles have we got of carbon atoms? We've got 2.4, so mass over MR, 2.4 over 12. So that's 0.2 moles of these carbon atoms. So if we multiply that by Avogadro's number now, we'll get 1.20 times 10 to the 23. Moving on to the second one, so the number of H2O molecules in 9 grams of water. So obviously water exists as H2O molecules, so I'll represent it like that. So the moles of those, mass over MR, 9 over 18, 0.5 moles of H2O molecules. So that's what we need to find the number for. So we just multiply 0.5 by Avogadro's number. 3.01 times 10 to the 23. Okay, so the first tricky one now. Number of oxygen atoms in oxygen gas. So oxygen gas is actually an O2 molecule, the diatomic molecule. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is working out how many moles of that we've got. So mass over MR, 64 over 32 is the MR of O2. So we've actually got two moles of O2 molecules. But we want to know how many atoms we've got. So if we've got two moles of O2 molecules, how many moles of atoms have we got? We've actually got twice as many because there's two atoms in each molecule. So we've got four moles of oxygen atoms, which I'll just represent like that. So that's what we multiply by Avogadro's number and we get 2.41 times 10 to the 24. Fourth one, number of hydrogen atoms in 10.2 grams of ammonia. Well, ammonia goes around as the NH3 molecule, so we'll need to find out the number of moles of that first. Mass over MR, 10.2 over 17. So that comes out at 0.6 moles of NH3 molecules. But we haven't been asked to find out how many molecules we've got. We've been asked to find out how many atoms, hydrogen atoms we've got. So there's three hydrogen atoms in each molecule. So we need to multiply 0 0.6 by 3. So that's going to give us 1.8 moles of hydrogen atoms, which I'll just represent like that. And that's what we multiply by Avogadro's number. So it's 1.08 times 10 to the 24. Final one, number of protons in 22 grams of carbon dioxide. Obviously, CO2 molecule is carbon dioxide. So we'll work out how many moles of that we've got first. 22 
over 44 is the MR of CO2. So we've got um, 0.5 moles CO2 molecules. Right, how many protons have we got in there? So think about how many protons we've got in this, in a single CO2 molecule. So we'd have six in the carbon and eight in each of those oxygens. So there's a total of 22 protons, just put that there, 22 Ps, in a carbon dioxide molecule. So if we've got half a mole of that, we're going to have 11 moles of protons, which I'll represent as a P in a circle. And that's what we multiply by Avogadro's number, and we get 6.62 times 10 to the 24. Hope that was helpful, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Cheers, bye.